Hello, today I'm going to take you through the HIV-1 rapid test for recent infection, the assay principle, test performance, and quality assurance. I'll start by defining the terms prevalence, incidence, and recent infections. Prevalence refers to the percentage of people found to be HIV positive in a tested population at a given time and gives an indication of the relative burden of HIV and AIDS in that population. Incidents estimate the rate of new HIV infections in a given time per 100 persons, usually expressed as X per 100 persons per year, and indicates the level of new HIV transmission. Recent HIV infection refers to newly or recently acquired HIV infection as detected by a given laboratory method or incident assay. What are the characteristics of recent HIV infections? They are characterized by high viral load. The immune response is weak and immature. There is continued high risk behavior as the individual is not aware of their status. There is high probability of ongoing transmission 40 to 60 percent of transmissions. Detecting the recent infection gives us an opportunity to interrupt transmission as the contacts are likely known, so contract testing is possible, and this will increase yield of HIV testing by partner testing. How do we detect recent infection? HIV rapid tests for recent infection can facilitate real-time surveillance. For example, the CDS Asante rapid recent assay. We can see the option of results that are on the screen. The negative with a control line only. The positive recent with a control line and a verification line. The positive long-term with a control line, verification and long-term line. Acceptable diagnostic performance characteristics for who PQ US aid waiver sensitivity should be equal to or greater than 99% specificity should be equal or greater than 98% and that is a website we can check for sedia rapid recent infection assay can be deployed at HIV testing sites HTS as an addition to the existing national algorithm focus is on newly diagnosed the HIV positive individuals and this recent data can then be compiled and analyzed in real time. In this program, large number of persons are being tested coupled with index testing can yield more number of recent infection. For example, in country M, if 1.2 million are tested with a prevalence of 10%, then we will get 120,000 HIV positive and of these, if 60,000 are new diagnosis, then we have 3,000 to 6,000 as recent infections. The key issues, however, are the use of recents in the context of case-based surveillance, the importance of a unique ID, deduplication and in identifying those with prior diagnosis and on art. The specimen types that are being used are the blood, uh, for Zimbabwe, we're using the finger stick, and this has to be tested immediately. Then there is also the EDTA tube, the venous blood draw to be collected in EDTA tubes. The blood samples to be stored for more than 24 hours should be processed to plasma oscillum before and kept frozen. Plasma or serum is to be used for quality control and proficiency testing. And this is supposed to be done monthly for quality control. And those are the, an example of the panels that are going to be used for quality control at sites, the long term, the recent, and the negative. Frozen samples must be brought to room temperature before testing. The rapid test for recent infection is going to leverage on existing systems. This is the Zimbabwe National HIV Rapid Test Algorithm. And we can see by the yellow box, that's where the rapid test for recent infection is to be placed, where there are 
the positives on positive HIV persons which have been confirmed by the second test. And just to note that we are not to be test we were not going to be testing for rapid tests for recent infection on people who are negative or inconclusive. And when we've done our recent test, there are the classification can be recent or long term. And these are not to be given back to the participants. Limitations of the test. Rapid tests for recent infections are currently only used for surveillance, not diagnosis. This is because they have not been WHO pre-qualified. Only newly identified HIV positive specimens should be used. These assays cannot distinguish between HIV-1 and HIV-2 specimens. HIV-2 is very rare in Zimbabwe, and if there are any HIV-2 positive specimens, they should be excluded from this testing. Recent assays are configured only for the specimen types listed, which is the blood, the serum, and plasma. It is not to be used with saliva, urine, or DBS. Thank you for your time.